Hi friends, in this video, we will discuss about the Oracle initialization process. I hope some of the students are feeling difficulties regarding Oracle initialization process. So generally, we have the Oracle two versions. One is the Express Edition, the second one is the Enterprise Edition, right? I'll, I'll give some introduction regarding two versions. One is the Express Edition, the second one is mm, and second one is Enterprise Edition, right? That's it. Come to the Express Edition. Uh, Express Edition is the trial version, so you have to install the Express Edition only. So Enterprise Edition is the license version. We have to pay money. Uh, then we will focus on Express Edition just. Uh, as you know, present version of Oracle. What the present version of Oracle? Oracle 12C here. So better to download the Oracle 11G or 12C also no problem. Let me go with the Oracle 11G process. Okay, so don't use the Oracle 10G, previous version. Uh, go with the Oracle 11G or uh, you can go with the 12C, no problem, right? That's it. So the express edition that I logical name is called XC. Okay, <coughs> express edition logical name is the XC, right? Okay, good. So here the default username of uh, express edition is a system. So password generally at the time of initialization, you have to give the password. Password generally at the time of hmm, at the time of install. But generally everyone is habituated the password is like manager. The standard password is a manager, system and manager you can use. Okay, so if you go with the enterprise edition, uh, the default username is a Scott. So some of the students are asking, uh, sir, what is a system and manager? What is a Scott and Tiger? Is the differences? Just a Scott and Tiger is belongs to enterprise edition. Uh, system and manager is belongs to express edition, right? That's it. Here the password is at the time of installation. At the time of installation. So generally, everyone will give the password like Tiger, right? Like this. This is standard passwords, right? So the enterprise edition, the logical name is WarCL. So now, uh, in this video, we will download the express edition 11G and we install the 11G, right? That's it. So to do the downloading process, just open the Chrome. Simple process. Uh, don't ask others. Install the Oracle software. Install the JDK software. Don't ask others. Just uh, check this video downloading process. Just uh, try to do yourself right. That's it. So simply can type Oracle 11G. Hmm, Oracle 11G download. Oracle 11G download. Uh, simply can go with the Oracle dot the first one as usual. Yeah, here simply you get the file directly. So there is a file here. here. So Oracle Database Express Edition 11G release to Windows 64. Simply click on Accept License Agreement. After clicking License Agreement, tell me you want you are using Windows or Linux operating system? Any anyway, obviously everyone is using generally. Most of the guys are using Windows, right? Just to go to the Windows operating system. So here I am using uh, so process as well the process 64 bit or 32 bit operating system. So as you know how to check the processor, if you don't know just you can check it, right click on the my computer, right click on my computer, just to go with the properties. So here you will get the processor, what the system type, 64 bit operating system, 64 based processor right, that's it. So then go to the Google Chrome, here you have to download the Windows 64 right, Hold. click on this one. Once you click this download, downloading link, it is asking registration. See, this registration is a pre, free of cost. So, in my system is already registered. When I enter the username and password, sign in, automatically download is started. You are the new to this uh, website, right? Uh, just uh, they will track the IP address while downloading this data database software. If you want, you can create the database. Go to that creation of database. Just you can fill uh, fill these all the fields. There's not a problem. Email address, password, retype the password, country job title you can take say some job title work phone give me your mobile number that's not a problem company name you can make it Durga software authority or anything you can make no problem address city so what wherever is your location just they'll track that ip address that's it that is not a problem just to give the all the fields so yeah, all the fields are mandatory for center the post zip, uh, zip code if you done this all the one so click on create account then type that username and password then what happened automatically the downloading process will start right downloading process automatically starts once the downloading process is done everything is done successfully you will get the setup file actually you will get the setup file in my system i already downloaded this is called setup file 
okay so once you have set up files click on next 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 only right as you know installation process is very very easy yeah? set up we will do all the process so click on s yes. so installation of article 11j express edition so here is article 11j express edition right that's it Oracle 11G, Oracle Database 11G Express Edition. So, initialization process. Uh, so, most of the guys, you've done BTEC and MTEC, still you're asking others to install the database, lab faculties, and all. It's not required. Uh, Oracle Database 11G. Click on next, accept license agreement. Click on next, uh, just to click on next, uh, enter the password. Here you can observe one point enter and confirm password for databases database this password will be used for both sys and system database accounts this password will be used for both sys and system database account right it's asking enter password and confirm password i'll give the password is the manager so i'll give the password is manager otherwise you can give your name also i'll give my name here ratan and ratan ratan and ratan click on next button so default port number 8080 it will take 1521 click on just initialization button so here the initialization is word see once the initialization is done i will open the, the command prompts and all just i will do one or two commands how to connect to the database and all uh, just wait a second so copying the files with just few minutes and that's it two three minutes so if you download the database based on your operating system and your process size uh, that we not getting any problem here. but when you copy the data from others he is using 32 bit operating system you are using 64 bit operating system obviously you will get error messages the reason always uh, try to download the data from internet based on your process size and operating systems there is better option What is 11 G here? What is G full form? So G full form is a grid technology. So is Oracle 11 be developed based on grid technology. Before 11 G, now see Oracle 11 G is there. Does not appear. Does not a problem. Okay. Before 11G, we have the 10G grid technology. Before 10G, we have the 9I. 9I means I means internet. Now, present version, you have the 12C, right? C represents, sorry, C represents cloud technology. What the present version here? I said the present version, we are using Oracle 12C. C represents the cloud technology. So 11G, before 11G we have the Oracle 10G, 10G means grid technology, before 10G we have the Oracle 9i, I represent the internet. Now we are doing the initialization process of 11G version, this is configuring database. Now once the configuration of database is done, uh, it is asking Oracle database expression finish button, just click on finish button. So initialization process is done, uh, once the initialization process is done, simply can go uh, run SQL command line run SQL command line so click on run SQL command line here we have to connect to the database CONN uh, system slash you can go with the and right click on enter button connected or not that's it if you want to increase this command prompt size how to increase the size here right click in the toolbar in above size right click here uh, properties we have the consoles in the consoles increase to 28 so click on ok it's not a problem leave it here yes or no some guys will connect the database like this connect it is asking username system password you can type here but it is not visible just you can enter the password click on enter button connected this is also valid not a problem yes or no otherwise connect the system rather at the rate xc so what is the xc here xc is nothing but logical name so we can do these all operations whatever the operation you want just you can connect to the database we can do the operation as you know how to create a table here in database create table table name is emb 
tell me so eid which type here number type if you want primary key column you can make it primary key column tell me create table table name emp eid primary key column next one is e name e name is varchar 2 of we can make 30 the last one is e salary e salary is which type here number type that's all guys if you want to find the description of table description of emp I hope you know the commands right. What are the commands you want? You can type the commands here. Just you can run the application. That's it, guys. This is the way how to install the database. So I hope uh, with this process you can do the installation process your own, right? Don't ask others. See, you are in a position to do the uh, installation process to others, but you guys don't ask others install the database, install the database, right? So no, yeah. So that's all, guys. So thanks, thanks for watching. You can please like the video and comment the video. Subscribe to our channel to get the more updates. And thank you guys. Bye.